You told me you'd only be gone for two weeks. The longer I waited, the more worried I became. I tried calling you. Your hotel, your work office, nothing. Not even Roy wanted to talk to me. He kept saying he didn't know anything, but I knew he was lying. You wouldn't have left me without a word, not for anything in the whole world. So, I'll follow your lead. I'm heading to the hotel tonight, and I'll bring you home, Dad. No one's around. As expected, they did close up after Dad went missing. Temporarily closed, at least. Anyone hear me? Lynn, is that you? Hello? What do you think you're doing, young lady? I told you a hundred times not to mess with your dad's things. God damn it, Roy. I'm not. Nothing like a childhood game to make you feel like home. Now I spy with my little eye something that begins with the letter L. Letter? No. Lobby.
Excuse me, ma'am. I'm Detective Way. I'm conducting interviews regarding the missing persons reported here. Do you have a minute to talk? Do I have a minute? My daughter is missing. No, no. I'm so terribly busy waiting for your incompetent police work to finish to finally discuss the only thing that matters to me. How may I pencil you in for next year? After this place has been erased to the ground by your complete and utter wreck of an idiocy. Ah, uh, apologies, ma'am. I can come back later. No, no. I'm sorry. It's just been hard. Losing Susan has been. Well, it's been an adjustment period. I'm trying to hold myself together with everything going on, but it can just be so exhausting sometimes. Remember that you all are doing the best you can. No one can blame you for that. <laughs> Even if you're all a bunch of useless fuck ups. Thanks, I guess. Susan, she was one of the first ones to go missing, correct? Can you tell me about when you first noticed something was amiss? Tough question. I'm not sure. Maybe it was when she stopped her first night phone call. Or maybe it was when she never came home. Or quite possibly. told me you'd only be gone for two weeks. The longer I waited, the more worried I became. I tried calling you. Your hotel, your work office, nothing. Not even Roy wanted to talk to me. He kept saying he didn't know anything, but I knew he was lying. You wouldn't have left me without a word, not for anything in the whole world. So, I'll follow your lead. I'm heading to the hotel tonight, and I'll bring you home, Dad. No one's around. As expected, they did close up after Dad went missing. Temporarily closed, at least. I would have just called you like usual. Oh, sure, because you called so many times in the past month. 
so I might as well look around a bit. Don't you dare. The place is shut down for a reason. Better get out of there right this minute, or I swear to God, Lynn. Yeah, no, I'm not dealing with him today. If he won't help, I'll find Dad on my own. Ugh, you're gonna drive me into an early grave. Just sit tight, okay? I'm on my way, so don't move, because if you so much as take a single step outside of... What were you worried about, Dad? I guess nothing like a childhood game to make you feel like home. Now I spy with my little eye something that begins with the letter L. Letter? No. Lobby? Hmm.
I like to work in solitude. The basement offers that. Is someone else here? I found it. The blood of City Night Temple. It's rather fleshy looking, isn't it? Say, do you think people like Susan started acting? Profound side effects, detective way. The brain fog, 